there's a new concern about innovation that, that we're creating possibly piles and piles and piles and oversupply of innovation, but there aren't really jobs and GDP growth coming out of it like we'd expect. And huge amount, I mean, tens of billions of dollars. But where it's, where, where it's um, winding up is that people are wondering if we have a huge stack of innovation and a very small stack of entrepreneurship, business model, and sort of rain making. And, and I think that's where a lot of the new R&D will go and, a, and, and more pressure on what exactly are we making, describe the customer to me, because innovation without a customer standing next to it we're learning doesn't have much value. We're very good at intellectual development. Americans are. We're by, we're by far the best in the world. So we can very um, intentionally develop smart people. And then, then we can have all kinds of inventions and discoveries and all of this. For some reason, we, we have left the development of entrepreneurship, the people that can create customers, business models. They can create economic energy where none previously was. We leave that to chance. We leave that to randomness, where everything else is so highly intentional. But I think with innovation, if we said, let's go through an engineer, let's figure out where these people come from, and we know nothing about them. But as soon as we discover and make that intentional and we engineer that particular phenomenon in economic development, or you might even call it human development, then I think everything will change. And Americans can figure this out.